Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf Your One Nobly, and welcome to some more Dragon Blaze. And also, we're gonna be looking at the patch notes a little bit early because of right now it's the 30th. We're gonna be looking at the updates for Halloween. Uh, the reason for this is because I probably won't be uploading on Halloween because I'll be hanging out with friends. So yeah, we're just gonna get it all out of the way now. I mean, they're pretty much just patch notes we're looking at anyway, so you know, might as well look at them now. So there probably could, won't be any videos tomorrow, so yeah. All right, so Winlu and Lucy are here. I like to call her Lucy for short, so you know, get over it. <laughs> so let's see what they can do and what they have to offer. So first things first, let me just do that and get out of here. First, you're gonna need an ultimate DFI Winlu and an ultimate Thanatos key along with 50 Trans Essence. And she is an archer. So keep that in mind. And she increases her decks of her normal attacks. Now her first skill is called Yang Drizzle Rage. I think I'm saying that right. If I'm not, then sue me. If I am, then that sounds like a really bad rapper's name. This skill removes one enemy's buffs and inflicts massive damage since an enemy flying for three seconds. Tracy is or a sniper can be used on enemy that flew away and inflicts for three times greater damage on boss enemies. So that sounds pretty strong. And it makes me think, what if I could fit Gala in that team? Would that work out? Because Gala does some people flying as well. So I don't know if that would work. I'm pretty sure somebody has tested it and they'll just tell me. All right, the next skill is called Death's in it. Removes buff of one enemy whose HP is lower than 35% and inflicts massive damage. And increases the hit enemy's attack by 56 for 11. Wait, is it increased attack taken or, or do you actually just increase their attack? I don't know why I want to increase somebody's attack, but you know, it's still pretty nice with the massive damage though. So I, uh, I'll let it slide. And the skill ignores the enemy's defense, can be used unconditionally against boss types, and inflicts times three's damage. All right, her last and third skill is called Noble Being. Purifies all of your debuffs and increase your attack speed by 63% for nearly nine seconds, and ignores enemy's defense and inflicts crits. Uh, this skill, I don't even know if you want to even build a um, crit chance on her. I don't, I don't even know. Would you want to build crit chance on her? Because I feel like if she's just going to crit anyway, you might as well just build crit damage on her and that's it. And plus she ignore defense, so defense pin is pretty much useless on that, so. Uh, hmm. Winlu's going to be really weird for me to build. Huh. This skill cannot be removed either, so... Yeah, I think I still might want to put on a couple of good gears on her, but I think I'm going to focus more on, like, crit damage, if anything. Alright, now we're getting into passives. Her first passive is called Cool Headed. When Llewellyn attacks an enemy again, the damage is increased by 100% damage on boss types, and enemy will... Uh, I'm... I'm kind of confused about that. What? The damage is increased by 100% damage on... Oh, okay. They did not leave, like, something right here to let me know that this was just going on. This was like a Dragon Senate. So, normal enemies will receive 100 damage, and boss enemies will receive 200 damage. Okay, I got it, I got it. Increase your attack by 170% per enemy, which is actually pretty good. And increases all party members' main stats by 50%. And physical damage by 43%. That, that's pretty nice, you know? I like it. Lulu can detect any concealed enemy and deals the first attack. Okay, that's that's actually pretty nice. So 
let's say she's going up against Hellhawk. As soon as Hellhawk like turns invisible, she gets the first hit before he does. It's pretty much basically what I'm hearing here. So that actually sounds pretty nice. All right, second passive skill is Dignity of the Queen. Now, I think this skill is the most like obvious reason why I love Winlu. And here's the reason why. Winlu is concealed for 12 seconds when she enters the battle, but she doesn't go back into invisibility. It's just pretty much as soon as she enters the battle, she's just invisible for 12 seconds, then that's it. It doesn't come back. And increases damage by 720% and decreases area damage by 60% and immune to all debuffs. Stops one enemy from using a skill for 12 seconds and casts a debuff that increases damage received by 72%. This skill can only be used once. So yeah, once she's invisible, this is everything you get, which is pretty nice. I gotta admit, just for like, like those 12 seconds, those 12 seconds are pretty much all you need. I wonder if her skill comes back during the, um, during like tag though. That could be a possibility, but I'm pretty sure it's not like that. I'm pretty sure it's just once for like battle and that's it. Now here's the main reason why I love her so much. Increases damage inflicted on all enemies by 3000% inside of guild siege and guild loot so yeah that's that's mostly the reason why i love her because she's actually pretty destructive inside of like guild related content and i'm pretty sure she could be destructive as well inside of a uh, guild adventure since most of her skills are like times three damage so yeah let's go on to her third skill which is pretty much dark elf queen Recovers by 38% of attack inflicted on the enemy, so that's pretty much like life steal, if you guys are wondering. And decreases area damage by 30%. Increases your attack by 369% for 15 seconds when Wen Lu uses Noble Being, I guess. This skill can stack up to 10 times. So this skill is pretty nice. So you're just going to be constantly stacking up attack speed the whole time. You know, it it sounds really fantastic and it's probably going to be even better with um, Helios or Asker on your team. Alright, her ultimate skill is called Yang Drizzle Strength and that still sounds like a bad rapper name. Increases party members physical damage received by 32%. Are we receiving that or wait, what? Then you deal fixed damage equal up to 8% of Winlu's attack and removes enemies debuffs one at a time when you're using normal attacks. That sounds really nice. So I don't think this is going to be removing the uh, Guild Adventure boss like buffs though. I'm pretty sure that will not. Removes enemies debuff one at a time using normal attacks. So basically what you're telling me is... I'm removing the enemy's debuffs on them or myself. Uh, well, I don't know. Uh, I'm pretty sure somebody in the comment will explain that one to me. All right, next one is Death Sentence Skill Condition changes so that enemies' HP must be less than 45%. Increases your dex by 14% whenever Winlu kills an enemy and increases fixed damage up to 11%. This skill can be stacked up to 10 times and cannot be removed. So this is pretty much permanent until like the battle's over is pretty much what I'm hearing here. So yeah, just kill 10 enemies then you just got all the, most of this crap right here. So that sounds really nice. All right, let's get into Lucy. The first thing you're gonna need is an ultimate DFI Lucy and an ultimate tear key along with 50 essence and she is rogue so she uses two daggers and her normal attack both decreases attack speed of enemies and deals damage to surrounding enemies so that means she's pretty much good at like taking out multiple enemies as well so she can be pretty good inside of a uh, guild loot as well all right let's get into her actual skills now her first skill is called sharp blade and that inflicts a massive amount of damage and also casts a bleeding effect 
that inflicts 700 damage per second and only lasts for 19 seconds. That is going to be there for a while. And damage debuff can stack up to 10 times. Inflicts damage that's 7 times greater on boss enemies. And it cannot be removed. Isn't that great? So you're just going to be bleeding the hell out of any boss that comes by. Alright, now let's take a look at her second skill. And that skill is called Excessive Bleeding and it deals massive amount of damage to all enemies and casts a bleeding effect that does constant damage by 10% for 13 seconds and this skill cannot be removed good luck trying to remove all those debuffs all right now we're going to get into her final active skill and that is called frenzy this increases her attack by a hundred percent for 13 seconds and cast a bleeding debuff that inflicts 200 damage per second for 8 seconds when all enemies are hit. Bleeding debuff can stack up to 3 times and cannot be removed. Alright, so you're going to be bleeding the hell out of the boss. So that you guys know now. Isn't that great? Now let's take a look into our passive. The pretty much bread and butter of it. Besides your retarded skills that are mostly PvE. Now her first passive is called Unbreakable Will. So Lucy gains one vulgar when attacking. So this is pretty much like Hellhawk's mechanic in a way. In a way. Like you can only have up to 40 vulgar. And this also increases your dex by 2% whenever vulgar is acquired. So, so that's 80% dex, I'm, I believe. Increases Lucy's attack by 360 for 27 seconds if a boss type is on the field can be stacked up to 10 times cannot be removed all right let's take a look at her second passive her second passive is a wavering will when a boss type attacks she counter attacks by inflicting a massive amount of damage while decreasing defense by 72 percent and this cannot be removed and that's that's kind of a real low cooldown. So you're going to be dealing a lot of damage. This is why she's so PvE like. She's so good at PvE. Which most of the game's content is based around. But you know. there There's some things that she just can't do. Especially don't bring her into like PvP. Because she's definitely not good in it. Alright next is Giant Slayer. Inflicts fixed damage equal to 73% of Lucy's attack and increases the damage inflicted on boss types by 102. Her ultimate skill is called Thrill of the Hunt and uses all your vulgar to increase your dex by 85% for 34 seconds, which is pretty much pretty long. If the skill cannot be removed, then yeah, you're going to be there for a while. You don't even have to worry about it. Increase all party members attack speed by 52 and damage inflicted on boss types by 220 cannot be removed and, and Lucy's Vogar is pretty much fully restored when the battle starts. So that's pretty nice when you get, to, when you get her to ultimate. She just pretty much gets it all. So yeah, I like it a little bit. Uh, I don't know what we do on this day. Oh, guild loot. I guess I'll do a few raids and just give my opinions on the character. I don't, I don't know. This is probably the best time to do this. Uh, which way? Yeah, I'm supposed to be farming over here. Uh, is this armor? Yes, it is. Oh god, hold on. Purchase. Why not? Oh god, god darn it! I can never have nice things, can I? But the way I feel about Lucy is that she's a good character. She really is. She's just not like really good in PvP because most of her skills are focused on boss types and you know raids and everything. Which I can pretty much say is not so good towards PvP. But she's extremely good. She will get you through most of the game's content for a while. And I can just pretty much say she's pretty much useful for destroying bosses and just leaving masses amount of bleeding I say she's gonna be extremely good inside of guild loot so you guys can try it out there 
I personally like Winlu a lot more just because she's pretty much like one of those all around characters. That's why I want her first because I am actually focusing on PvP as well now since you guys enjoyed like most of the PvP battles which you guys won't get this week. Well you won't get uh, Arena this week. I think you'll get Tag but as of right now yeah. So you know I had to make a choice. Uh, I already have everything I need for Winlu anyway so yeah, I don't have everything I need for Lucy, though. So, yeah, I'm going to be focusing on that whenever. So, I'll get Lucy down the road. But right now, I can get Llewellyn. I can get her to max, probably plus two or one. Well, with the way they're giving us, like, these little pumpkin things that have, like, the 20 essence in it. Well, if the pumpkin things get random, I pretty much just got, like, 40 essence out of, like, two of them already. So, working out so far. The thing is, I honestly cannot wait to see how these guys perform because if they do not boost Guild Adventure again, our guild can actually defeat round 9. So, thank God that there won't be like a renewal this week because just doing that with this just oh my god i i'm tired of all the renewals man renewals always just snatch away from me but you know we all feel the pain right so it should be really good to see i hope to hear from you guys because i know a lot of you guys come to my like um live streams and talk with me about your scores and everything i hope you guys can get done a lot faster or get a lot more done now I, for one, am going to be... I, I don't know if I'm going to be struggling yet. Okay, I need one more. I don't know if I'm going to be struggling yet because I do need to figure out a character that I want to replace. If I take out Howl, then I'm I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Uh, I can take out Ravengill or Landy, but, you know, I still need, like, the boost and everything. So I'm going to try and take out Howl and replace it with Winlu and see how that goes because i'm just a little bit curious you guys always know i always test out new teams every like guild adventure most of the time because i'm just like a guy that really likes to like test my teams and like make different comps it's always been that way except for the part where i don't have many characters well trans characters right now to test out comps and the fact that i have the ultimate them so yeah, struggling, getting there, but struggling. <laughs> all right, so that's pretty much what I'm gonna leave you all off with. I do apologize because you know I'm choosing my friends over you guys. You know, I have no problem with that. You guys are gonna have to suck it up for this week, just for this week. Uh, I'm gonna grab that. Thank you. Okay, thank you. But hope you guys enjoyed and do tell me who are you guys going to get first, Winlu or Lucy? And give me the reason why. Why? Yeah, I know some of you guys are hating on Winlu right now. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time. Till then, peace out.